Look what came in the mail. Make sure you like and subscribe uh, if you want to see a lot of uh, cool videos about Starlink and what it's capable of. Our very first uh, order of uh, business here is to unbox it and uh, see if it works. I'm going to do it pretty briefly because there's like a billion unboxing videos on YouTube already. So we're just going to cut to the chase, um, rip it apart quickly and then uh, see what kind of uh, performance we can get out of it. All right, let's get started here. I'm just gonna start by cutting all the tape just to make that uh, part a little bit quicker. You know, one of my most, uh, the things I'm most excited to try on this is uh, to see if we can, um, well, A, take it into the woods and get some internet where there's currently no uh, cell service. Um, I've heard a few people uh, getting it to work small distances from their house, but uh, I'm not counting on it, but we'll give it a shot. Then the other one that I've also seen tested without any success is uh, using this wall in motion. So uh, in another video, I plan to strap this to the roof of my car and uh, go for a little drive. So uh, make sure you don't miss that. This is a uh, box is way bigger than I would have uh, expected, um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, all here, as seen in the other videos. Got our base mount, got the dish ourselves. It's interesting, it's just kind of all kind of thrown in there. And there's some, like, some scuffs on the back of it. But um, I'm not gonna think too much of that. As we've seen in other videos, everything's already plugged in. You know, if you don't know what you're doing, you don't really have to worry about it. It's all color-coded. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm unplugging everything because I wanna check it out in detail. The router is quite interesting. It's very uh, small and compact. Um, interesting. So it's got two ports on it. Um, one's labeled aux, and I assume that's uh, if you want to plug in a computer or a network switch. Um, and then obviously that's your input, obviously all powered over PoE. Um, the first thing that uh, I find interesting is all the network cable appears to be actually shielded cable, which is, uh, you can see here, um, it creates a ground point between both uh, devices, which I guess is probably important for satellite-based um, systems. Um, then you got your big cable here. Uh, it should be about, or should be 100 feet based on what I've read. And then the massive two-foot dish right here. Looks pretty legit. Let's stick this in the base and uh, stick it outside. There we go, oh, it even locks in. Look at that. Um, so I'm gonna use the app to see if it will work just in the backyard. Um, and if it does, perfect. So let's go do that now. Okay, we've got the dish. Let's uh, look up. So basically, Right about here should be good, based on the app. Let's go inside and uh, see if it connects. Let's, uh, let's do this. So I'm gonna plug in the power here. There we go. Oopsies. All right, we got two white lights here. So I assume that means uh, we're powering on. We got a white light on the Starlink router. That's flashing. Let's go like this. You guys probably can't see it anyways. And uh, I've heard this can take up to 15 minutes. Um, the dish does not appear to be moving at this point, but the system's still starting up. So let's just see what happens. Oh, there it goes. Oh, fancy. All right, I'm gonna get back on the phone here. Start setup, okay. I'll show you guys what this looks like. I think this is just a, uh, you know, for the sake of uh, the average user. 
Um, so plug everything in. Check. Connect to Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, you can use my location, sure. Open Wi-Fi settings. That's not Wi-Fi settings. Oh, there it is. Starlink 25185. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. One thing I should have mentioned earlier too when I was talking about the shielded cable, shielding obviously also uh, rejects um, interference, so that's another important thing. So we're going to call this scary net Starlink, and then we're going to put in a password. Oh, don't look. Okay, apparently you're going to see it, so... Starlink test. Create. You will be disconnected from the router, of course, because uh, it's changing the SSID. So now we should see Starlink test pop up here as soon as it's finished uh, applying those settings. And then we'll do the, f the actual test, you know, what we've all been waiting for. Just gonna turn this off and on. There it is, a Starlink, Starlink test. Join. Now we're just gonna wait and see what happens. All right, we're joined. Okay, we're connected. Oh, Starlink. Okay, there you have it. It actually is working. A good solid 90 megabits per second. Download, let's see about upload. Does it not test upload on the web version? All right, update. We're plugging my computer directly into the aux port just to see how that works instead. So there we go. Let's try this. This will be a better test. Wow, 25 milliseconds. That for satellite is pretty freaking good. I mean, when I used to have cable before we upgraded to fiber, I had higher pings than that. It definitely seems to not be having fun with the upload right now. It also could be the dish placement. Maybe I should try a slightly better location because uh, I'm gonna say that upload speed's not very good. <laughs> they did say that there might be issues like this, so I'm not gonna hold my breath. Well, look at that, this speed test all of a sudden, 110. Let's see if we get some upload this time. Oh, okay. It's not uh, not the best, but uh, you know what? It's working, so that's pretty cool. Well, I think we're gonna wrap this video and uh, make sure you like and subscribe because uh, I plan to deliver a whole lot more than this. Thanks for watching.